Canada. Peace. Germany. Yeah. A group of convoys be led by Merkel to go to speak with the voting because she used to be supporting in the bus. What do you think about that? Well, to be sent by the United Nations. I tell you, uh, uh, you mean, oh, sorry, I didn't understand. Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel, I want to say, Angela Merkel has a heart because she let in, for instance, the Syrian refugees when they were standing at the border of Hungary and where uh, water cannons were uh, directed towards them. And she said, New Year's Eve, after this disaster happened, we can do it. And she took them all in, okay. without visa, without anything. She was, unfortunately, uh, she depended very much on Russian oil and gas, but she grew up in uh, East Germany. And when uh, the USSR broke uh, uh, in, into pieces, she thought the best thing we can do is trade with them. Because if we do trade with Russia, they get stronger and they may convert more to democracy. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. And now, of course, they blame her for that. And do you uh, agree for the blaming? No, okay. only party. Okay. Only party. All the party. Because, I tell you why, because the Germans were very happy to have low gas prices. Mm. And now they blame her, you know. I did think she did it for only for profit. She says in Germany, you say, oh God, trade, trade for change. Trade for change. You know, you trade I know. countries, I know. you get a more, uh, um, you can talk to them more, and you may do something in terms of democracy. Okay. That do was you our belief. Okay. Do you think if she can go with a group of people, sent by the United Nations. She can't do something and Putin will listen to her? That is very hard to say. She very speaks, hard. of course, fluently Russian because she grew up in East Germany. But, I mean, I think at the moment nobody can talk to Putin because he is a psychopath. Thank you. Can I, rem I remind, as you're Germany, you yeah. remember 2014 when he took Crimea? Yes. And uh, Merkel went to him to, to threaten him on behalf of the European. He knows she has a uh, phobia from the dogs. Then he brought the dogs to the meeting. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I she was, she story. was a little bit worried. Yeah. She can't treat it. She I to... remember that story. She was He's very idiot. Yeah. You know, the same phobia for the prime minister of Japan. When he came in, uh, Merkel, she was sick, and the dogs come, and she should do like this. But the prime minister of, of Japan, yeah. when he came, they bring the dog and give him the dog to hold it. <laughs> He's right. shaking like this. This is so pathetic, you know. I know, KGB. Absolutely. You know the KGB, what are you doing? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You want to threaten me? Yeah. Take the dog. He <laughs> yes. was in East Germany as yeah? a spy. Yeah. my telephone 0779069 for 895 uh, yeah, uh, the ukrainian family especially with children uh, and with cat welcome in the flat i have a uh, you can rent in a flat in southampton it is one bed flat okay and um uh, where to, to, and, and how Southampton, not in London, in Southampton. Southampton, I know. Uh, I used very, to live there. Yeah. Very friendly for children. Yes. So it is very cheap. 
very very cheap 200 pounds in months okay so uh, uh, and uh, yeah uh, we are from Ukraine German Ukrainian German Ukrainian family mixing where from when I'm paramedic